In this session, I will explain how to use the FANUC trace function. Using this function, you can check the operation status of all addresses used in the trace ladder program based on time intervals or specific signals. The tracing function is used to set related signals for the purpose of diagnosing the cause precisely if a specific alarm occurs intermittently. If the alarm occurs after setting, the related signals are checked to diagnose the exact cause. First, let's see how to open the trace screen. Press the system button on the operation panel. Press the right arrow button at the bottom of the screen and press the PMC maintenance button. To open the initial trace screen, press the right arrow button at the bottom of the screen, then press the trace button. Press the trace setting soft key at the bottom of the screen to display the trace parameter setting screen. Press the page down button to display the signal setting screen. To start tracing, press the right button at the bottom of the screen, then press the start button. To set the signal, set the address or symbol to search. You must move the cursor using the arrow keys and manually input the address or symbol. Set the signal address using the bit address. If a byte address is entered, the 0 to 7 bit address of the inserted address is entered. Up to 32 signal addresses can be set. The setting value at the cursor position can be deleted using the Delete button. To select an address or a symbol, press the Address soft key at the bottom of the screen to change to the symbol. Press the button again to change to the address. The trace parameter can be set in this way. You can select mode by period and signal change. Resolution can be set up to a resolution time of 8 to 1000 milliseconds. The maximum time value changes depending on the resolution value. If none is selected for the stop condition, the trace function does not stop automatically. If you select buffer full, the trace function stops when the buffer becomes full. The trigger can be stopped by the trigger signal set with the trigger function. When the trigger is selected, set the address for stopping the trace function. Three modes can be selected, rise, fall, or change. For position, the position can be set from 0 to 100%. If the trace stop condition is triggered, settings are enabled. Select the position of the stop trigger setting in time as a percentage of the sample time. The setting value should be determined according to the application. Set the larger setting value if signal changes are examined before the trigger condition, or set the smaller setting value if changes are examined after the trigger condition. For example, when the sample time is 10 seconds and the sample position is 10%, the clamp display range is displayed like such. The sampling condition is activated when signal change is selected for sampling. For address, select an address for sampling. For mode, select Rise, Fall, Change, or Signal On-Off. When the signal parameter for tracing is set and the sampling address is entered, press the Start button to start trace measurement. When the measurement is complete, move the cursor to the desired checkpoint and press the Mark soft key to display the M mark at the position. You can enlarge or reduce the screen size using the Zoom In and Zoom Out button. That is the end of my explanation on how to use the FANUC trace function.